Thank and you. now to officially start our meeting, Mr. Batchelor, would you lead us in the pledge, please? Thank you. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Good morning. We're moving to item B, which is approval of regular session minutes of June 14, 2021. Board, we received them in advance. Are there any corrections or deletions this morning? None here. Hearing none, can I call for a motion to approve? So moved. Is there a second? Second. And call the roll, please. Commissioner Painter? Yes. Commissioner Batchelor? Yes. Commissioner Corcoran? Yes. Public participation at this time. Is there anyone who would like to speak this morning? Seeing no one, we're going to move on now. We'll move on to our consent agenda. Board, we've received the consent agenda in advance. We've had time to review it. Are there any deletions or corrections on the consent agenda? None. Hearing none, could I call for a motion? I'll make the motion. Is there a second? Second. Call the roll, please. Commissioner Batchelor? Yes. Commissioner Painter? Yes. Commissioner Corcoran? Yes. We're on item E, number three. We're on non-consent agenda this morning. First one is payment of bills. It's a recommendation that the Board of County Commissioners adopt resolution number 104-21, resolving to approve payment to vendors in the total amount of $1,534,784.88 as set forth in the BCC approval invoice report for checks dated June 16, 2021. BCC directed prepaid invoices reports and or the procurement card transaction report as presented by the county auditor on June 14, 2021, and further authorizing the county auditor to issue those warrants for same pursuant to section 319.16 Ohio Revised Code. Do I have a motion to pay the bills? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, call the roll, please. Commissioner Painter? Yes. Commissioner Batchelor? Yes. Commissioner Corcoran? Yes. Good morning, Suki. Good morning. Item number four. Good morning, board. Item four is a recommendation of Jeremy Evans, the county engineer, to execute the First Amendment to the agreement for resurfacing of township roads. This is between the Board of County Commissioners and the Board of Trustees of Batavia Township. And this is relative to the 2021 road resurfacing program that was ratified by the board on January 11, 2021 in which in accordance with section five, the township has requested the county to add River Birch Road to the list of roads to be resurfaced, which will require section six to be revised to reflect a new total estimated cost of $299,860.69, and all other terms will remain in full force and effect. So we um, estimated when we went out to bid and the Batavia Township estimate for the roads that they gave us was 286,000. The bids actually came in about $40,000 less. So the township trustees decided to add this additional road. So we'll increase the uh, agreement and we'll bill them an additional $13,000. Great. Board, you've heard the re reading and recommendation to execute the First Amendment to agreement for resurfacing of township roads. And this is the agreement with Batavia Township to add River Birch Road. Do I have a motion to approve? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, call the roll, please. Commissioner Batchelor? Yes. Commissioner Painter? Yes. Commissioner Corcoran? Yes. Item number five, Suki? Item number five is also a recommendation of Jeremy Evans, and this is to accept permanent easements, permanent temporary and repair easements necessary for the Happy Hollow Road Bridge Project located in Williamsburg Township and authorize payment as compensation for those. Uh, the first one is to Stephen J. and Mary J. Miller for both a permanent temper for all three, permanent temporary and repairs. And the second is to a Dane Garrett, Vernon P. Moss, and Amy Moss, and Jessica L. Moss for a permanent easement. Okay, this is the motion to accept the permanent easements. Um, these were granted and conveyed to the Claremont County, Ohio for roadway purposes. And this is for project number TA-16-20. Do I have a motion to approve? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, call the roll, please. Commissioner Painter? Yes. Commissioner Batchelor? Yes. Commissioner Corcoran? Yes. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Item number six. Good morning. Hi. Hi, my name is Jennifer Poe on behalf of Mary Brock, Director, Claremont County 
Court of Common Pleas Adult Probation Department with the concurrence of Thomas J. Eigel, County Administrator, to execute a subs subsidy grant agreement for 407 Community-Based Non-Residential Corrections Program by and between ca the County of Claremont, o Ohio and the Ohio Department of Rehabilitation and Corrections Division of Parole and Community Services Bureau of Community Sanctions for the Community Corrections Act 407 non-residential felony grant relative to prison diversion <coughs> programs entitled standard <coughs> probation for and on behalf of Claremont County Common Pleas Adult Probation Department as the designated implementing agency and to acknowledge the Claremont County Court of Common Pleas Adult Probation Department's <coughs> application submitted on 4-21-2021 attached here thereto and made a part thereof in the amount of $599,088 with, with no local match required effective for the period of July 1st, 2021 to June 30th, 2023, pursuant to and in compliance with the terms and conditions set forth therein and in con concert and directives here, here through uh, here to four, received from the Ohio Department of Rehabilitation and Corrections, Division of Parole and Community Services, Bureau of Community Sanctions, in and as it relates to or thereto. George, you've heard the recommendation to execute a subsidy grant agreement for 407 community-based non-residential corrections program, and this is with the Ohio Department of Rehabilitation and Correction, Division of Parole and Community Services, Bureau of Community Sect Sanctions, and this is for the Community Corrections Act 407 non-residential felony grant. Do I have a motion to approve? I'll make the motion. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, call the roll, please. Commissioner Bachelor? Yes. Commissioner Painter? Yes. Commissioner Corcoran? Yes. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Item number seven. Lyle Bloom, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Lyle Bloom, director with the Claremont County Water Resource Department, and item number seven is a recommendation to adopt resolution number. 105-21 resolving to approve revised general plans for the county wastewater system within the Claremont County Water Resource Department for proposed improvement and expansion projects at various locations situated within various townships in uh, the county of Claremont and is more per particularly described in the five-year wastewater capital improvement plan for years 2021 through 2025 um, which is attached as Exhibit A, uh, resolving to authorize and direct the Claremont County Water Resources Department to perform or have performed preliminary or design engineering preparation of detailed plans, specifications, contract documents, and estimates of cost for proposed improvement and expansion projects, resolving to authorize the County Water Re Resource Department, its employees or agents, to enter onto private and or public properties to be affected by the proposed improvement and expansion projects and after sufficient notice has been sent to owners and or persons in possession or control of such properties to perform soil, soil investigations, surveys, appraisals, or other examinations as deemed necessary in order to finalize said preliminary or design engineering, preparation of detailed plans, specifications, contract documents, acquisition of necessary right-of-way and estimates of cost, and further resolving to authorize the sanitary engineer to make pre-application, nominate and or make application for various local, state and federal grant or loans should such become available for funding of said improvement and expansion pro projects pursuant to and in compliance with Chapter 6117 of the Ohio Revised Code. So this is our five-year capital improvement plan. We update this annually um, for wastewater. Uh, to it includes 56 projects uh, for years 2021 through 2029, or 2025, excuse me, we have $63.9 million budgeted uh, for those projects. Uh, it includes our collection system rehab project where we try to uh, rehab about 10,000 feet of sanitary sewer per year, uh, lift station upgrades, wastewater treatment plant upgrades, and uh, sanitary sewer replacement projects. George, you've heard the recommendation to adopt resolution number 105-21 to approve the revised general plans for the county wastewater system within Claremont County Water Resources Department's five-year wastewater capital improvement plan 2021 to 2025. Do I have a motion to approve? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? Lyle, just a just a little discussion there. I you know I I know we do these 
we, we do these five-year plans quite often. You know? Three year. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you talked about it. I, I've looked at it. You talked about $63.9 million rehab of sanitary upgrades of existing treatment facilities and those kind of things. The question that I wanted to ask is that it, there is no doubt that the northern part of Claremont County, central northern part of Claremont County, is well served by infrastructure for Claremont County water. And I've asked this question before, and I know, you know, maybe a five-year plan isn't long enough to take a look at that, but what are the plans for water resources in other parts of the county? You know, I, I mean, I know, I know, obviously, we're reaching out there to Newtonsville and to those areas, but... <clears throat> How long has it been since we really, and I know there's a geographic, we've all talked about that, there's a geographic uh, um, challenge to overcome with other areas of the county, and I, I know that's been talked about, but I think it's been way too long since we haven't invested into, you know, infrastructure in other parts of the county. And, and one of the reasons that I'm bringing it up and that I'm concerned is obviously, you know, American Recovery Plan money can be used for infrastructure. <coughs> And the only infrastructure that people are talking about in the near future is broadband. And, and I'm, not, I'm not minimalizing that by any means. We, we need to expand broadband in agricultural areas where we don't have it. But it is very, very clear that areas in this county have suffered, you know, due to economic expansion, due to the lack of infrastructure and utilities. So, you know, do we have a longer plan? Do we have a... 25 year range plan that we typically have an engineering firm take a look at the rest of the county we have a wastewater master plan that was last updated in 2010 tried to update it about every 10 years so we're, we're getting close to to the need to, to do that um it looked at how are we going to serve what's you know in what direction are we going to serve some unserved areas um, it looked at mainly at sewer capacity because that becomes a problem as areas develop um, typically the way sewer extensions are done to serve unserved areas are either by developer uh, where a developer will extend sewer to serve a couple hundred acres um, or by petition where the residents uh, petition the county and then it's funded through special assessment of benefited property Obviously, we're, our rate structure is, we're funded by our rate payers, um, and our rate structure isn't, I wouldn't say, isn't uh, designed to pay for uh, vast sewer extensions to serve um, free of cost, <laughs> free of charge to, to areas that are unserved currently. Mm -hmm. uh, so that is one option to use the, those funds, the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act funds. You, you, you got that quickly like that say that five times <laughs> I lose track of acronyms but uh, I believe that's what it's called um, but uh, you know the the Newtonville project I think we're pushing around 15 million dollars now uh, construction costs are, are skyrocketing um, just here in the past six months I think that project went up close to two million dollars so yeah we can look at that um, but it always comes back to who's paying and, and where do the funds come from um, and many times for the residents that are petitioning the county, uh, a $30,000 assessment isn't, isn't feasible for them. Um, and, and oftentimes that's what it costs. Uh, sanitary sewer is expensive. And, and, and so my thought would be there is that, you know, if that were something that, you know, obviously it takes more than just one commissioner. But I, I think we're at that point. I think that Claremont County is busting at the seams when it comes to economic development. You know, we're going to quickly see that there are areas here that uh, people can't benefit from because it's just not served well as far as infrastructure. And I think it's just we've been caught in a paradigm for a long time. You and I talk about, you know, the things that can be overcome with lift stations. And obviously there's no engineering feat at moving sewage that can't be overcome with uh, a good engineering design. And as you pointed out, money. Time and money. Yes. Right. But I, I definitely think it's something that we need to look at, especially with, you know, natural gas coming to the east side of Claremont County, all the way out in Bethel, Ohio. Obviously, the economic development that's going on, we're up against 275 about as far as we can. We're seeing that move to the east. And the further we go to the east, the less served we are. And so, um, you know, I just think that's something that needs to be looked at hard. Um, and, and, you know, as, as Claremont County, as, as government, we need to take a look at that. One thing, we, don't, we can't make jobs and we can't, 
we can't uh, put jobs together, but one thing we can do is we can, uh, you know, extend infrastructure to the point to where it becomes feasible for businesses to create jobs there. So, so are you more interested in extending sewer to existing residences that are on septic, maybe failing septic? Or Absolutely. To that's the other thing. That, open fields. Type that's the other thing that we're up against is the value of property. The more we go on septics, um, the argument becomes with the Board of Health every time we try to have a failing septic system or what actual uh, engineering fixes there are available to that are no longer feasible. You know, and it's becoming to where property that's been abandoned, it's not valued when you go over and check the status of the septic system. You know, there are people who say, I'm not gonna rehab that residence because I gotta put $40,000 in a septic system. I mean, we are running ourselves out the other end and we have got to take a look at that. Or, you know, in 10, 15 or 20 years down the road, we're gonna find ourselves in a, in a totally different predicament. You know, so I just think that taking a look at that and then being realistic as to what the county needs to invest for you to be able to do that. It's obvious that, you know, we can't relay that on the ratepayer, you know, or on the resident or assess their property. You know, we need to take a look at that. But with not only American recovery funds, but American job plan that's going to be coming right behind it is a whole lot more money than that. And that money will be available to do that, too. So I just think that's that's a place we need to take a look at. And if that takes an engineering firm to do that, we, we should think about that. So again, it's a focus would be serving existing residences, not undeveloped areas, if that makes sense. I, I think yeah. both. both. I, I think both. I think so. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. I'll share a, an example. We did the uh, North Afton sewer project when I first served with the county and it was a 24 inch trunk sewer that went out north of 32. Right. Things are going to blow up. We're just now starting to see. Right. Right. Um, so. Right. Sometimes if you build it, they'll come. Sometimes it takes a long time. But but that's well, the Mr. thing. I, you, you can't market it if if it's not there. Right. You know you just can't. Well, I think Mr. Eichel, you already have that on your radar, looking at all those funds coming in, and we. Right. Yeah, we've talked a while about that. Right. Uh, sent some information over to us. And we yeah, I took a different approach or a different angle to it, but we can well, good. revisit that. No good. Um, we need all the angles, but I, yeah. I know you're working on that, so thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm. Where, if I could just add, Absolutely. Day, being president of the Township Association for many years, that topic has long been brought up by different townships that they can't develop or move forward because of sewer and water. So. I think it was a very good point that you brought up. Okay. Right. Thanks. Mm -hmm. We called for a motion. We got a motion, correct, Holly? Um, we did not have a motion. <laughs> we don't have a motion. I have a vote Making on the motion. Sure, after all that. I, 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 thought, I thought you. Oh did. yeah, we did. I we did. I've got, I've got we, Commissioner we, Painter. We the then motions, I've got. But there was no vote. That's right. That's oh, okay. Right. I, I apologize. Got, I was looking down at eight. I'm so sorry. Um, on number now seven. I will call the roll, please. Commissioner Painter. Yes. Commissioner Batchelor. Yes. Commissioner Corcoran. Yes. Now, Lyle, you get number eight. All right. <laughs> I'll take it. Uh, item number eight is a recommendation to adopt resolution number 106-21, resolving to approve revised general plans for the county water work system within the Claremont County Water Resources Department to for proposed improvement and expansion projects at various locations situated within various townships in the county of Claremont and is more particularly described in the five-year water works capital improvement plan. This is for years 2021 through 2025, which is attached as Exhibit A, and uh, resolving to authorize and direct the Claremont County Water Resources Department to perform or have performed preliminary and design engineering pre preparation of detailed plans, specifications, contract documents, and estimates of cost for proposed improvement and expansion projects, resolving to authorize the Claremont County Water Resources Department, its employees or agents, to enter onto private and or public properties to be affected by the proposed improvement and expansion projects after sufficient notice has been sent to owners and or persons in possession or control of such properties to perform soil investigations, surveys, appraisals, or other examinations as deemed necessary in order to finalize said preliminary or design engineering. Preparation of detailed plans, specifications, contract documents, acquisition of necessary right-of-way, and estimates of cost, and further to resolve resolving to authorize the sanitary engineer to make pre-application, nominate, and or make application for various local, state, or federal grants or loans should such become available for funding of said improvement and expansion projects 
pursuant to compliance with Chapter 6103 of the Ohio Revised Code. And so again, this is for the water, uh, water Works Capital Improvement Plan. Uh, we have 60 projects identified in the Capital Improvement Plan uh, for years 2021 through 25. We have $32.9 million uh, planned uh, and budgeted for. Uh, that includes replacement of about 20,000 feet of water main per year for years 2020 through 2022, and then we're increasing that to 25,000 feet per year for years 23 through 25. Uh, you know, about 20 years ago, um, we started building a lot of new water tanks around the county, and our plan has always been to re uh, uh, rehab and repaint those about every 20 years. So the plan also includes uh, repainting a uh, eight of our elevated water storage tanks throughout the county. Um, and then actually we plan to remove one of the tanks, uh, which is uh, the, the Lewis Road tank at the corner of uh, White Oak and Lewis Road. I'm sure you're familiar with that one. That's, that one's planned to be removed uh, in year 2024. And then the plan also includes uh, water treatment plant and well field renovation projects. Lord, you've heard the recommendation to approve um, resolution number 106-21 to approve the revised general plans for the county water works system within Claremont County Water Works Resources Department, the five-year water works capital plans 2021 to 2025 years. Do I have a motion to accept? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion on that one? Call the roll, please. Commissioner Bachelor. Yes. Commissioner Painter. Yes. Commissioner Corcoran. Yes. Item number nine, Lyle, you're going to be here a while today. Yes, I will. <laughs> Item number nine is a recommendation to adopt resolution number 107-21, resolving to proceed to file a petition for appropriate appropriation of real property for a portion of parcel number 49-34-10A-061, consisting of the purchase of real property located in Wayne Township and owned by R. Scott Smith, <coughs> whose mailing address is 5940 Ekman Lane, PO Box 159, Newtonsville, Ohio. Uh, in concert with project numbers 6402-60116 and 6402-60117 relative to the Newtonsville Collection System Assessment Project and the Newtonsville Wastewater Treatment Plant Project located in Wayne Township, resolving to authorize a declaration of intent to take possession as, I, as de designated in Exhibit 4 to be filed and to authorize the amount of $5,831.47 to be pop deposited with the Claremont County Common Pleas Clerk of Courts, which represents the county's appraisal of the value of the real property to be appropriated and damages thereto, if any, and further to authorize the county auditor to issue the reference payment subsequent thereto. And this is the final property that we need for the project. It's actually a purchase of a very small uh, piece of property for the um, sanitary sewer lift station. Great. Board, you've heard the recommendation to adopt resolution number 107-21 for the final property purchase. Um, this is consisting of the purchase of the real property located in Wayne Township and owned by R. Scott Smith. Do I have a motion to approve? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, call the roll, please. Commissioner Painter? Yes. Commissioner Bachelor. Yes. Commissioner Corcoran? Yes. Item number 10, Lyle. Item number 10 is a recommendation to execute a memorandum of, of understanding between uh, Claremont County and the Miami Township Board of Trustees, 6101 Meyer Drive, Milford, Ohio, relative to the coordination of a proposed sanitary sewer extension along Branch Hill Guinea Pike located in Miami Township, pursuant to and in compliance with the terms and conditions specified therein. So a few months ago, um, Miami Township approached the county about a sanitary sewer extension to serve uh, one of their fire departments. It's located on Branch Guinea at the corner of uh, Ward's Corner Road. It's about a 700 foot uh, sanitary sewer extension. It's got a failing septic, uh, familiar topic here. We were just talking about that. So they're gonna fund the project. Um, the county is essentially gonna manage it. We'll, ma we'll bid it out and we'll manage the construction of it. Um, we are in the MOU, we're agreeing to pay for these uh, sanitary sewer laterals to serve some of the properties that they're going to pass, some of the residential properties. Um, it sometimes gets pricey to, to extend those sewers, uh, and we've done this before um, or offered this before with other developers that are extending sanitary sewer. Uh, because those ultimately, those properties will probably be forced to connect. They'll be required to connect if you're within 200 feet of the right of way the Board of Health or the state will require. So we're going to pay for, for those to go under. They may have to be bored under Branch Hill Guinea, um, but uh, we'll, we're uh, including that cost to be paid for by the Water Resources Department. 
Board, you've heard the recommendation of Lyle Bloom, and this is to execute the memorandum of understanding by and between the Board of Claremont County Commissioners, Miami Township Board of Trustees, relative to the coordination of the proposed sanitary sewer extension along Branch Hill Guinea Road, or Getch Pike, I'm sorry. Do I have a motion to approve? I'll make the motion. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, call the roll, please. Commissioner Batchelor. Commissioner Painter? Yes. Commissioner Corcoran? Yes. Thank you, Lyle. All right, thank you. Moving on, we're down to item number 11. Holly. Yeah, I'll take that. Um, this is the recommendation of Thomas J. Eigel, County Administrator, to acknowledge that on June 6, 2021, the Board of County Commissioners received a copy of Resolution R-11-2021, heretofore adopted by the Board of Trustees of Goshen Township on May 11, 2021, requesting the Board of County Commissioners to vacate Broadway Street, situated in Goshen Township, as described therein, pursuant to an in compliance with Section 5553-045 of the Ohio Revised Code, to accept the preliminary report of the County Engineer, dated May 25, 2021, in and as it relates to the aforestated request, and to establish the date, time, and location of the public hearing, therefore, in accordance therewith, Public hearing to be held on Wednesday, July 14, 2021, at 11 a.m. local time in the Office of the Board of County Commissioners, 101 East Main Street in Batavia, Ohio. Would you heard the reading recommendation to acknowledge that this board has received a copy of Resolution R-011-2021, and this is adopted by the Board of Trustees of Goshen Township, requesting the board of county commissioners to vacate Broadway Street situated in Goshen Township and for the public hearing on Wednesday, June 14th, 2021 here. July 14th. Oh, I'm sorry. It sure is, isn't it? July, <laughs> thank you. July. July 14th, 2021 at 11 o'clock a.m. Um, right here at 101 East Main Street in the Board of County Commissioners building. Do I have a motion to approve? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, call the roll, please. Commissioner Painter? Yes. Commissioner Batchelor? Yes. Commissioner Corcoran? Yes. Item number 12. <clears throat> Mary Rains, good morning. Good morning. Mary Rains from the Office of Manage Management and Budget. Item 12 is request to increase the annual appropriation. Can I talk today? The annual appropriation for 2021 in the general fund under the risk management division for $750,000. Board, you've heard the recommendation of Mary Raines, Director, Office Management and Budget, and this is to approve and authorize changes in the annual appropriation resolution number 191-20 for calendar year 2021 as read. Do I have a motion to approve? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? <clears throat> Mary, what's the, what was the 750000 moved for? This is uh, for pending or future uh, judgments and claims. Got it. That, that fall under our uh, risk management program. Thank you. Okay. Call the roll, please. Commissioner Batchelor? Yes. Commissioner Painter? Yes. Commissioner Corcoran? Yes. Thank you, Mary. <coughs> We've completed the non consent agenda. Are there any additions, Mr. Eichel, at this time to the agenda? No, oh, ma'am. Hearing none, we're going to move to item G. Item G is a request to go into executive session pursuant to section 121.22G1, G2 and G3 of the Ohio Revised Code to, number one, consider the promotion, employment, or compensation of a public employee or more public employees. Number two, to consider the sale of property at competitive bidding. And number three, to confer with the prosecuting attorney concerning disputes involving the public body that are the subject of pending or eminent court action, respectively. Do I have a motion to go into executive session? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Call the roll, please. Commissioner Painter? Yes. Commissioner Batchelor? Yes. Commissioner Corcoran? Yes. We're going into executive session. We will return shortly. We have returned from executive session. No decisions were made. And at this time, we are going back to our agenda. Um, item H, county staff elected official discussions. Any this morning? We have none. Moving on to member comments. Any further comments this morning, members? None. Okay, none. hearing none, could I have a motion to adjourn this morning, please? So moved. Is there a second? I'll second. Call the roll, please. Commissioner Painter? Yes. Commissioner Batchelor? Yes. Commissioner Corcoran? Yes. 
Thank you for joining us, and we will see you again next week.